Welcome back, my friends. My name is Eric. This is Rome, and we're back with another MechWarrior 5 Mercenary video. Um, this time, we're going to talk about voice commands uh, and voice attacks specifically. So in the past, we've been talking about um, kind of formations and some other things that we could use uh, from tabletop rules as far as uh, commands and stuff. And they're kind of a pain in the butt to have to go through all of the function key commands to get to what you want. So the easiest way to do that, I think, is to use a voice command. Um, so I've got, I have two of them. Um, I have voice attack and, I don't remember what the other one I have. The other one I, I tried playing with this morning and just, there was no sweet spot for the vo vocal. Everything was either too loud or too soft. Um, I have very little accent. I'm running a very good microphone. Uh, there's very little reason for voice recognition. I'm kind of the best case scenario, realistically, um, but it just wouldn't, it wouldn't see it. Uh, it. You know, you train it by saying, you know, there's some lines in the, you know, from the Windows voice recognition and it just, just would not get it. So we're gonna use voice attack. I got it off of Steam. I've had it quite a while. I don't use it nearly as often as you'd think I should, um, but I do have it. <clears throat> so, Let's go ahead and we will show it to you right now. So this is it right now. And you can go through and read here and see just how bad sometimes it is. Uh, I have created a, um, a profile here. Uh, and I believe you go here if you'd like to create a new profile. So I have mine already created. So when you go here and you create all of your commands. And it's pretty easy. Uh, you have a lot of options. So if we were to do a new command, we could come in here and uh, we could click on whatever we want. And this is my new command. And then we could tell it we want to hold keys down, let keys up, whatever it may be. So we could just do a straight key press, um, F1, for instance. Uh, and then we could stack those and we could say after that we want G. And then we could do, you know, eight and so on and so forth. Um, and that's how you could build these commands. So for instance, if we go to say uh, a diamond formation command for me, uh, within the normal command scheme of tabletop rules, uh, for the Lance commands, we need to hit F1 for all units. F7 brings up an additional menu of stuff. F3 is change formation. F5 is additional formations and then F4 is the diamond formation. So it's gonna go through all of those. Now we can do this with all sorts of different stuff. We could have it do a mouse key. Um, and we come into key press here. You can see we could pull, press and release keys, press and hold keys, release a key that's already pressed. So we could say, press key shift, then press and release key L, then release key shift right? Something like that. So we can go all sorts of stuff. I haven't played with variable key presses, but we have a lot of options as far as what type of commands we want it to do. Uh, obviously, we could do mouse keys, we could do uh, buttons on the joystick, um, all of that sort of stuff. We could record stuff. You can work your way through. It's, it's really pretty easy. <clears throat> uh, so for instance, if we had a tag laser on five, what we could do is we could just say tag and it would press and hold key number five. It would toggle five on, uh, say, and it would just keep going. Let's, in fact, let's try that. Let's go, um, let's cancel out of here. Let's do a new command. Let's say tag. And what we're gonna wanna do is we are going to toggle and we're gonna to toggle five. We'll put our tag on five. There we go. So now we'll have to add a tag laser to, to something, but that's fine. So now we have this created. So if I say tag, it'll toggle it on. If I say tag again, it will toggle it off. Um, and we could do a tag on and a tag off if you want, but you know what? If I just say tag on, tag off, it's gonna recognize the tag and do what it wants to do. We'll say okay. And you can see it is it is recognizing the tag command in there. Um, I think that's all I want to say about it for now. Let's go ahead and apply. 
say done. Uh, I'm going to go ahead and move this out of my way for the moment. And we'll go ahead and let us give us a mech with a tag on it. So let's go ahead. Whoops. Let's, uh, I don't know, let's let's give us uh, something like a, a catapult, maybe. Um, and we'll just go maybe with a C1. We'll edit our loadout. And we're going to get rid of one of these tags, one of these. There we go. And we'll go ahead and put a tag laser in there. And then we'll we'll be set. We can we can see how that works. I haven't played with it this way. Um, this is considered cheating in MechWarrior Online, by the way. Uh, just to let you know. Uh, you know, so if you play MWO, um, some sort of, you know, voice command or uh, function type of, of macro um, to turn your tag on is considered cheating. Uh, I don't know if it detects it or not, or if this is just unwritten rules. But when I was playing, unwritten rules were, if you were seen with your tag all the way on, everybody assumed you were cheating. Uh, and that's why you, you know, when you watch uh, Barrett Duel or anybody else, they'll say, look, I'm just holding down the button. They will tell you very clearly that they are holding down the button. Now, that doesn't mean they are. Um, but they'll say that uh, specifically because of that reason. So we've got a tag laser. Um, I've got a patrol built up. I've got three assassin pilots with us. Let's go ahead and we'll ready up. Oh, we need some pilots for them. And we'll just, we'll see how it works. All right, you should see the little chat command down there and it will scroll up as we go. Oh, eventually they're going to stop talking. So we're going to say, um, what do I want? All units. Loose formation. I hope that worked. <laughs> Let's try uh, all units. All units, stay in formation. Move to the commander. Not quite what I was looking for, but you can see our, our loose formation one did work. You can see that the blue uh, kind of little, I don't know what it is, like a little missile icon up there next to the F2, F3 did change to blue. So we'll say, uh, let's see, I have some of these written down. Some of them I don't. All units, form up. All units, form up. In behind you. Tag. Oh, hold on. All right, you can see we'd already told it to stay on, so it's going to stay on. Tracking tag target. Now I just have to figure out what my, what my weapons are. There we go. And we can say next target. I don't think we have one. I think they already blew it up. Never mind. All units. My target. Well, we already lost a unit. Wow, we're 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 bad at this. And I'm not doing very well because I can't get far enough away to use, where are my guys? Why are they over there? There they are, they're, they're running around. Lerms. Oh, I don't have them on six, hold on. Lerms. Lerms. I thought I had a command for Lerms, but clearly it's not recognizing it. Lerms. Nope. Nope, it worked in my test, but it's not working here. Target 
There we go. So essentially we can do this. Now they are all a little bit fiddly and you have to kind of give one command and then give a pause, right? I just can't say all units fall in on me. Notice it doesn't do anything. If I say all units, all units. Form up. With you. There we go. So you do have to be a little bit deliberate in what you say and how you say it. Where did he go? Oh, no, he just came back over that way. Okay. Uh, we had the lock, I thought, but clearly we did not. Got him. And that's kind of all there is to it. Like I say, they're all a little bit fiddly. I have mixed success with them. Um, but you know what? You could say... Diamond formation. Well, it clearly didn't get me to where I wanted it to get to. Um, but we'll have to play with it some, some way. Uh, let's say cancel. Echelon right. See, it's, it's not giving it enough time. I think I need to play with the delays to get the big multi-command ones down. So let's, let's try that. Let's go... Um, let me find it here. Drag it over. Turn on display so you can see that. Let's go here. Let's try... Um, let's try line abreast. So... Let's change this to point 0.2. See how that works. See if that gets us through all of our chain of commands. Because this one takes a lot, right? I mean, you can see there's, there's five commands here. Um, and I'm not sure uh, where the delay is. Like, it seems like if it's just one command, point 0.1 is fine. So let's try this. So let's go ahead and say, OK. Apply. Done. And now I'll say cancel. Cancel. Uh, but it doesn't appear to like that. Let's check our cancel. It recognizes it, it just didn't get anything done. Okay, okay. Oh, you know why? Probably because I'm not clicked on here. Let me click over here. Cancel. It's because we didn't have the right window in focus. Um, the other one I have, you select the focus window for it. It doesn't matter where your focus is, it will always send the command to the one you have selected. I haven't seen a way to do that in voice attack. Um, which one do we do? Line abreast. Not point for the seat. Let's move. Nope. Seems like, uh... Line abreast. Moving out. Nope, doesn't look like it's doing what we want it to do, does it? I wonder if there's a way for us to see what it does when we do that. Um... So it recognizes it. That is the one we told to do it that way. Huh. So let's see, F5, F1. Do we need to build a pause? I bet you we need to build a pause. I bet you that's the problem. All right, let's do this. Let's go back to this one. I think the point one seconds is fine. Um, I think we can get away with that. Let's go point 0.1. Let's make all of these point 0.1 again, and then we'll add a pause in on each of them. I betcha that will fix it. Um, it takes me a while to remember how to build this stuff every time I come back into it. Uh, but the game just doesn't do that. So if we go here, we go pause, and we'll, we'll add a pause for point 0.1, and we'll move it up, and then we'll add a pause for point 0.1. And we'll move that one down. And then we'll add a pause for point one. Move it up. So 
We've got a key command to pause, a key command to pause, a key command. There we go. Let's try this one again. So we are, we're going to say apply, done, move this out of my way. Come back over here, select, and we will cancel. Line abreast. I think that did it. All units, form up. We're forming on you, Commander. Hmm. All units, stay in formation. Falling in file formation, sir. Let's see, how do we move? Let's say, uh, I think I have a command for this. Uh, what did I call it? <laughs> formation speed. Which for us is full speed. And it does look like they're attempting to stay in the line formation. Now, obviously, we're missing somebody, but I think that works. So we just had to build some pauses. So I think we'll kind of end this one here. This is kind of a short, short little kind of, we'll say an introduction rather than a tutorial, uh, because I'm clearly not an expert in voice attack. But at least you get some idea of what you can do with it and decide if it's for you or not. Uh, I don't believe it was very expensive, although I don't remember, although we probably could um look really fast um give me just a second and i will do so all right voice attack it is 11.99 if we click on it here um recent reviews are very positive all reviews are overwhelmingly positive so take that for what it is um there is a demo you can play with i'm not sure how much it will do with it uh, obviously, they've got a website, a Discord, there's a manual for it, all that good sort of stuff. So the stuff I haven't told you how to do, hopefully you can figure out how to do between the Discord and the manual. And we'll call this one here. So thanks for watching, guys. Hope this was uh, of use for you and, uh, you know, potentially either to use more complicated commands or even if you're just somebody that has um, uh, some uh, access kind of issues as far as being able to reach across the keyboard. Um, I used to work with the gentleman with muscular dystrophy, with Duchenne muscular dystrophy. And so uh, if it was right here, he could get to it, but he couldn't get to it quickly. And so we used a lot of voice commands, even back then for typing and such, because that was a whole lot easier for him. You know, so potentially something like that, this could be a good option for you. Anyway, thanks for watching, guys. We'll see you next time. Cheers.